and Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Peace, grace, and mercy be upon the house of David, the Bayath Dawada, which are the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. And also want to give double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And also honors, salutations, and blessings to the men that's preaching the gospel of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach uh, in all sincerity and all truth, all right, enduring all things for the elect's sake. All right, so, uh, you know, uh, real quick, I uh, just seen this video about the, you know, the, the, the yellow vest protest that's happening over there in France. And, uh, you know, this right here is just a, a quick indication, man, that you women. Are, are, are also going to get it too man all right when when all hell breaks loose you know over here you know when these uh when these uh uh you know martial law is declared okay these these streets are shut down when when you know when the economic collapse happens and it's basically you know uh, uh no holds bars out here man this right here this uh video is a is a small inkling to let you know that hey you women gotta uh repent as well man all right you women got to repent and get get yourselves right as well because these these uh these uh soldiers man these are uh, un soldiers they're not going to spare no one all right they're not going to spare no one all right so you women can, you women can get it too just 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 to put that out there man because you have a lot of uh you know in this day and age man it's 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 becoming more feminized all right things are uh you know that whole quote unquote me too protesting and and you know being making it seem like you know women can't do no wrong all right women can't can't uh can't uh uh get judgment but the lord let me get the scripture real quick before i play the video and hey, the lord said uh spare not old and young men right uh maids or little children so you know this is a wake-up call man and you women need to repent because you also are the ones who don't repent the ones who slayed it for uh for you know the sword or for famines you know for the pestilence for the uh you know being ransacked being run through hey th that destruction is going to come all right ezekiel 9 verse 4 it says and the lord said unto him go through the midst of the city and through the midst of jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof okay and that word uh mark right there that means uh uh, exemption all right pull it up uh all right uh it says a desired mark a sign a sign of exemption from judgment okay a sign of exemption from judgment and a judgment is coming man it says into the into the others he said in mine hearing go after him through the city and smite let not your eye spare neither neither have uh, ye pity slay utterly old and young both maids and little children all right and women but come not near any man upon whom the mark whom is the mark and they begin at the sanctuary uh, and begin at my sanctuary then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house so it says what old young maids little children and women okay so that so no the that time man is going to be no no sparing man all right so i'm gonna play this uh real quick See how she's being dragged, man? No remorse. All right? No remorse. Dragging, <laughs> dragging her. She's screaming and shit, man. Run that back, man. No remorse. No pity. You see? Yeah, she, she probably... You know, thought that, oh, I'm a woman, I, nothing could happen to me, all right? You know, that proud, because you got a lot of women that are out here pride, uh, proud, man, especially Israelites, all right? Especially the Israelite women, the so-called Negro, so-called Hispanic women, all right? And, and uh, the ones who are of the Israelite seed that may look like other nations, because you, you, you could tell a, <laughs> you could tell a, 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 a Israelite woman, man, all right? Might not be able to tell by, by, the, by the facial features, okay, if she's, uh, you know, uh, may look like the other nations, but they still got that same haughty, same uh, same proud spirit, man. I'm talking about the majority, not all. You know, you got a few sisters out here that are trying to be humble and, you know, uh, 
and trying to be a uh, uh, you know shame face but the majority of uh, israelite women they hardy and, and they lofty men okay so the lord gonna bring them low okay and this is and this right here is the indication because this woman right here she's screaming all right she brought real low you know she might you know have a uh, have a nice corporate job or you know whatever whatever case may have you but she didn't think you know starting that day right, was it yesterday or whatever that she was going to be getting dragged in these streets man all right getting dragged like they're a rag dog man no and, the, and these policemen they don't got no pity and this is uh, only a small like i said the, these these protests and the, the uproars of the people but man what's going to come here what's going to come to babylon all right the the, the jacob's trouble okay these these policemen are going to be way more rugged man way way more uh uh ruthless man all right and we're going to get the scripture Look at that, man. Dragging her by her hair. She's <laughs> Hey, man. This will to put fear fear in, in your in your hearts, man. Fear in your mind. Fear of your how about she me. I was shy, man. Because you seeing it, man. You seeing what, what's about to come. Okay? You seeing it, man. Uh, Isaiah chapter 32, verse 9. It says, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear to my speech. Okay? Because right now, here in babylon and other parts of the earth but you know mainly here in america you know women don't think something like that could happen to them all right so they careless man they 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 talk shit to a man all right they they uh uh you know just be straight disrespectful straight uh prideful all right being careless man out here and, and, and out here you know just dressing like a like a slut all right i'm just gonna keep it funky man all right and you gotta hey the purge man the purge movie shows you you know when 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 lawlessness is out on these streets who's the first ones to, to to be getting got man the women okay the women i advise brothers and sisters to watch this movie called uh, uh aftershock man okay this movie called aftershock that showed you straight the carnage that was happening man women were getting raped right in the streets man no holds bars all right and I and gotta put it like this, gotta put it blunt, man, because these are the things that are coming. And if you don't repent, if you don't get yourself right, if you don't get in order, you are gonna be taken through, man. It says verse ten: Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. All right, for the vengeance shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease; be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make your make you bare and gird slack uh, slack cloth upon your loins. All right. So you're gonna be brought to a real low state. If you don't, if you don't humble yourself, you're gonna be brought to a real low state, man. And once again, it ain't gonna be just men. Men, women, everybody, man, they all gonna be brought to a low state. All the pride, the Lord said he's gonna cause, let me get that real quick. He gonna cause the the uh the pride to cease, man. Where is that? Uh, I believe it's Isaiah second chapter. Yep. Isaiah chapter two, verse eleven. The lofty looks of man, and that includes man and woman, shall be humbled. And the haughtiness of men, and you got a lot of women that are haughty, uh, going forth with stretch forth necks, all right? You know, not being shamefaced, not being humble, not being, not having humility, okay? All that's wickedness, man. The Lord said that's one of the seven things he hate is a proud look. And more so, <laughs> how much more from a woman who's a, who's a weaker vessel, man? And that woman in that video shows you that when that time comes, there's going to be no prideful looks. She didn't have no, she had no covering. She had no man to protect her. She was getting dragged out in the streets and it was getting recorded, man. Nobody was there to try to, try to offend for her, man. Try to fight for her. And she couldn't fight for herself. You see? It says, and the haughty, uh, haughtiness of man shall be bowed down. And the, and the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah alone shall be exalted in that day. For the day of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty everyone men women you got even children that are prideful men disobedient to parents disrespectful okay they gonna be brought low too it says and upon and upon everyone that is lifted up and this society uplifts women men okay they put them put them on a pedestal you know uh, uh thinking that they the you know that they that they got goddesses man the black woman is god well we're gonna see in that day man we're gonna see if the black woman is god in that day man okay the, the so-called negro woman she's gonna be looking for a man all right she's gonna be looking for a man and only a man of the lord is gonna be able to uh to, to to deliver them in that day man it says and upon everyone that is lifted up he should be brought low point blank period 
All right. And that's what this place promotes. This place promotes nothing but pridefulness, man. All right. Uh, second Ezra chapter 16, verse um, 20, uh, 68. It says, I'm going to start at 67 because this is how you get exempt from that. This is how you get that mark. This is how you get that, you know, you you, you uh, uh, can possibly get away, uh, possibly escape that trouble that's coming, man. All right. Six, uh, second Ezra 16 and 67. Behold, the Most High himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So shall the Most High power lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. And that's the that's the message that we're preaching, man. Repent, man. Starting with the men, okay, and and the sisters out there too, man. Repent, because if you don't leave off from your sins, if you thinking that you got time, if you thinking that the Lord is is, is slack concerning his his judgments, okay. The Lord Scripture says the Lord will not all acquit the wicked, and you got a lot of wicked women that are out there that is boastful, prideful, all right. And the Scripture tells you that pride comes before fall, man. So you got to repent, come back to the Lord, all right. Reverence, reverence the, the, the man be in order so that you can be delivered from that from the trouble, man. Because why? Verse 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. Yeah, they're gonna throw you in the concentration camps. All right. Not giving a fuck if you if you got uh six million uh, followers, all right, on Instagram. OK, if, if, if every nigga up in your DMs, that ain't going to matter, man. All that vanity is going to be out the window in that day, man. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your pretty looks. OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your long weave. OK, none of that's going to matter, man. You going to. Hey, man, it's I'm telling you right here. Once again, man, the Lord is showing you that this is what's about to hit, man. You going to be dragged through these streets. And those men. OK, because right now this ain't all our lawlessness. But those troops, those troopers, they gonna be, they gonna be knocking your teeth down, man. All right, gang raping you, okay, sticking them knife steps up, up your, up your ass, man. They could have did whatever they wanted to do to her in that right there, man. She had no power to do anything, and ain't gonna be no, no uh, uh, news coverage, okay. Ain't gonna be no media in that day, man. It's gonna be straight carnage, right? Going back. It says verse seven, uh, verse sixty nine, and they, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in and in reproach, reproach and trodden underfoot, for there shall be in every place and in the next cities. So in every place, it ain't gonna be oh this can't happen, this ain't gonna happen to me. That's over there in Paris. Hey man, the Lord, what the Lord got coming to America is gonna make Paris look like a fucking walk in the park, man. All right. In every place, man. And in the next cities, a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like mad men, sparing none. We just read spare not. Neither have ye pity, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. So they ain't going to be no. Oh, I'm just going to be in my house during this. They're going to run up in your house, man. The scriptures told you there's going to be a uh, uh, place is going to be ransacked for lack of bread. So your next door neighbor, hey, in the purge, man, uh, uh, Diego, all right, his the, the, Diego, he said, he said it was Diego's day, man, okay, and those women, that woman and her and her daughter, they had no no sauce for that, man, all right, all these women thinking that they that they could fight a uh, fight a man and and hey, look, <laughs> hey man, you gonna see, we gonna see in that day, man, it says for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of the streets. Then shall be then shall they be known who are my chosen. All right. Starting with the elect, the men, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. So we just read right here, I'm um, for 69. It says, And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and a reproach, right? So you go to Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. Why are they gonna take hold of one man? Because they ain't gonna want shit like this to be happening to them. I'm gonna run it back. All right, let you get the visual. They ain't gonna want shit like this to be happening to them, man. They gonna see their cousin. They gonna see their best friend getting dragged like that. All right, and they gonna they gonna try to find them. They gonna try to look for a man of the Lord. All right, she'll take hold of one man, saying, "We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach." This right here is a reproach, man. Okay, this right here is a reproach. She, she, I, I best believe, man, when she started this protest, she wasn't shamefaced. 
But she ended it real shame face, man. This is a taunt right here, man. Getting dragged like that. Look at that. <laughs> hey, man. You better get. You better repent, man. You better be repent for the destruction is at hand, man. Shalom.